you are welcome back to my channel we have a lovely math question to solve so we are asked to find the value of x and y and both are positive integers in this particular equation first of all remember that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared okay so looking at this we are going to expand this in this form all right so expanding this in this form we have xy squared xy squared minus 2 multiplied by xy multiplied by 7 then plus 7 squared okay and this is equal to x squared plus y squared so if we expand we have x y squared minus 2 times 7 is 14 so minus 14 xy plus 7 squared is 49 is equal to x squared plus y squared now let's add 2xy to both sides of the equation now the essence is i want to form x plus y squared from this side okay so add 2xy to both sides if we do that we have xy squared minus 14xy plus 49 plus 2xy is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy if this is the first time you have seen this lovely channel it's time to click that subscription button so that you don't forget okay subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our lovely videos we upload our videos as often as possible always tune in at your convenience you must see something new to watch by the grace of god give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing thank you very much so at this point let us solve further so we have x y squared x y squared minus 14 x y and plus 2 x y we give us minus 12 x y minus 12 x y then plus 49 plus 49 is equal to now this is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2 x y all right now looking at this we can write this as x y squared minus 12 is same thing as 2 multiplied by x y multiplied by 6 right okay plus 49 can be written as 36 plus 13 okay is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2 x y all right now remember that a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b squared and a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b is equal to a plus b squared all right so i want to put this in this form so I need to get my b squared. My b is 6, so this can be written as 6 squared. So I can write this as xy squared minus 2 multiplied by xy multiplied by 6 plus 6 squared plus 13 is equal to... Now for this side, I can write it as x plus y squared, right? Plus x plus y squared. So this one now, I can write it as a minus b squared. That is xy minus 6 squared. Okay? So plus 13 is equal to this plus this squared. All right. If we solve further, we will have 
I want to transfer this to the other side, okay? If we transfer this to the other side, you are left with 13, right? So this minus this is 13. Minus this is equal to what? 13. Now you can see that we have difference of two squares here. Yes. So we are going to apply that. So remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Therefore, we can write this as x plus y plus xy minus 6 multiplied by x plus y minus this xy minus 6 all squared is equal to 13. Okay, no square again. All right, we have expanded it in this form, so no squared. All right, so if we solve further, what are we going to have? So if we open this bracket, we have x. I don't know if you can still see this. So let me clean this side of the board and continue from there. Hope you are enjoying this video. All right, so this is where we are. I will write this as x plus y plus xy minus 6, okay? Then brackets. This will be x plus y. And we have minus times xy is minus xy. And minus times minus is plus. Don't need to play this. Okay. Is plus. So we have plus 6. Is equal to 13. Okay. Now, remember that 13 can be written as 1 multiplied by 13. And also 13 can be written as 13 multiplied by 1. Now, remember... That we are told that the value of x and y are positive integers and if they are positive integers then it simply means that a plus b should be greater than a minus b all right okay so remember that this is our a plus b and this is our a minus b so it means that this must be greater than that therefore we cannot use this this is rejected rejected so we can only apply this for the value of our 13. So we go ahead and we are going to have that x plus y plus xy minus 6, okay, multiplied by x plus y minus xy plus 6 is equal to 13 multiplied by 1. Okay, now... From here, you can say that this is equal to 13 and this is equal to 1. So we have x plus y plus xy minus 6 is equal to 13. We can call this equation 1. Equation 1. For this, x plus y minus xy plus 6 equals 1. Let's call this equation 2. Now, let us add equation 1 to equation 2. So, x plus x is 2x. We have 2x plus y plus y is 2y. We have 2y. x plus minus xy plus minus xy is 0. And minus 6 plus plus 6 is 0. Now, this is equal to 13 plus 1 is 14. Now, we need to factorize, right? So if we factorize, we have two brackets, x plus y is equal to 14. Now, let's divide both sides, okay? Let's divide both sides by 2. Dividing both sides by 2. So we have 2 bracket x plus y divided by 2 
is equal to 14 divided by 2. If we solve, we have 2 we divide itself and we are left with x plus y is equal to 7. Now let's call this equation 3. Okay? Now let's repeat equation 1 and 2 again. So let's repeat it again. x plus y plus xy minus 6 equals 13 and x plus y minus xy plus 6 equals 1. Now let's subtract this time. The other time we added them together. Now let's subtract them. x minus x is 0. y minus y is 0. xy minus minus xy means xy plus xy, which will give us 2xy. Minus 6 minus plus 6 is the same thing as minus 6 minus 6, which will give us minus 12. Is equal to 13 minus 1, which is 12. Now, let's transfer this to this side. If we do that, we have 2xy is equal to 12 plus 12. So we have 2xy is equal to 24. So let's divide both sides by 2. All right? So dividing by 2, we will have... Oh, I've seen something, but no problem. So dividing both sides by 2, we'll have 2xy divided by 2 is equal to 24 divided by 2. All right. So if we solve that, we have xy is equal to... So let's call this equation 4. Now, I forgot to pick, copy out our equation 3. Remember that our equation 3 says that x plus y is equal to 7. If we divide both sides by 2. And this was our equation 3. All right. Now, from equation 3, let's make x or y the subject of the formula. Okay? So, if we make x the subject of the formula, we have that x is equal to 7 minus y. Let's call this equation 5. Now let's substitute equation 5 into equation 4. So if instead of me to write x, I will replace it with 7 minus y. So I have 7 minus y multiplied by y is equal to 12. y times 7 is 7y minus y times y is y squared is equal to 12. Okay, now let's transfer this to this side. We have 7y minus y squared minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, the next thing we will do is to arrange this well in form of a quadratic equation because that is what it is, okay? So arranging it, this we confess. So we have minus y squared plus 7y minus 12 is equal to 0. But we are going to multiply both sides by negative 1. Okay? Multiplying both sides by negative 1. If we do that, we are going to have the y squared minus 7y plus 12 is equal to 0. All right. Now, I don't want to forget this. This is 4. This is 3. All right. Now, this is a quadratic equation, and we can solve this by factorization. Now, we need two factors of, we need two factors of plus 12. That when we add them together, we get minus 7. And those two factors are minus 3 and minus 4. Now, remember that, because this the equation of y squared is 1, we can solve it faster using this method. Open two brackets. Okay? Equals 0. We have y squared. We are going to write y here and y there. So y multiplied by y will give us y squared. Then we plug in the two factors that we found. Minus 3, minus 4. 
okay now from here we can solve y minus 3 equals 0 y minus 4 equals 0 so our y equals 3 okay and our y equals 4 okay from here remember according to equation 5 that x is equal to 7 minus y okay so i can now claim the other side of the board okay <laughs> all right now we have that we have that x equals 7 minus y all right so when y is when y is equal to 3 when y is equal to 3, then your x is equal to 7 minus 3. So your x will be equal to 4. Similarly, when y is equal to 4, okay, your x is equal to 7 minus 4. Your x is equal to 3. Now we are going to prove that the answer is right. So go nowhere all right let's do this together because that is the most interesting aspect of this video now from here we can see that x comma y is equal to we have four comma three and we have three comma four now let's verify we are going to verify using one of these okay so let's use the first set of answers. We have x, y minus 7 all squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. All right. So let's substitute. When x is 4, y is 3. 4 multiplied by 3 minus 7 all squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. So we have 12 minus 7 all squared is equal to 16 plus 9. Now 12 minus 7 is 5, right? So we have 5 squared is equal to 25. And that is true because 25 is equal to 25. So this proves that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.